welcome back. Last time I went into a creepy place of creepy creepiness and got some orb pieces and now I'm in another creepy place. Not quite as creepy because I haven't seen any monsters yet. And I'm looking for more orb pieces. Hello! Oh, oh, oh. Stop it! The cradle is ready. Good. You! You're a man! How can you partake in this? Is he alright? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man! It was an accident! He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault! Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Tinder? Ah! No, no, please! I'll do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! I'll do anything! I can The arsonist kept crying as he slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method. Well, method. It was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Okay. Two pieces of orb. Presumably one more to go this way. Rule of threes and all that. upside down. His tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Oh. That's just disturbing. Let's see. Is he supposed to use this? Gotta come back in here. I guess next stop is up the stairs. Running, running, running. Get this over with faster. Stop with the effect. It's not scary. It's just slowing my frame rate down. getting up the spiral staircase of pain. Is there a rope of some sort up here? Oh, more tinder. Yes, there's string. Oil. 
and one of these things. Is it you, my love, I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Good. And a note. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I would figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creatures can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem. But it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't have or behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. That is just messed up. And I need to check on the time because I don't remember how much I have. And it looks like I have about seven minutes left, so... Okay, I got that ready. Down to collect that blood. Okay. Running because they made this longer than it needed to be. I have all the ingredients. And now to get out of here. Nave. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end? He thought. From the water creature. I see that all the orb pieces you need. I know I have no right to ask anything of you, but if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Wire's tonic before attempting to mend the orb, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, 
My faith is in your hearts. So, did that way, that way, out there, it's him. All that's left is this way. Sigh. Might as well put a little more oil. Nothing. 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 Tinder. And I guess now I check up the stairs. Because there's that door there. And I'll check out the stairs first. Candle. I like the candle. Sure, why not? Like that one. Tinder. Whoa. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating. In a dim haze. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. These cuts speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Oh, Peace and They meat. will be back. Oh, I guess I can go back and deal with that water monster thingy. Ha 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 ha! I see that all the orb pieces you Shut up. I know I have no hey, idea. Shut up, you're making my frame rate drop. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! Reeling it in. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. Alrighty. And Daniel's freaking out, even though he just got some health back or sanity back. And it is time to end this episode, so I shall see you guys next time when I enter, um, the chancel. Whatever the fuck that is. 
See you next time.